Evening primrose oil has been used for breast pain, including breast pain related to the menstrual cycle. It has not been shown to be effective for preventing or treating cancer. If you have cancer or think you may have cancer, consult your doctor. Some herbal-slash-dietary supplement products have been found to contain possibly harmful impurities or additives, so it's important to check with your pharmacist for more details about the brand you use. The FDA has not reviewed this product for safety or effectiveness, so it's best to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details before using it. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's recommended to follow the instructions on the product label or consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. When taking evening primrose oil, it is important to follow the directions on the product package. If you have any concerns or questions, it is advisable to consult with your doctor or pharmacist. If your condition does not improve or worsens, or if you suspect a serious medical issue, seek immediate medical attention. Some common side effects of evening primrose oil may include upset stomach, nausea, soft stools, or headache. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. While very rare, a serious allergic reaction to this product may occur. Seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling, especially of the face, tongue, or throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to consult with your healthcare provider if you notice any other effects not mentioned. In the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before starting evening primrose oil, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies. This product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues. If you have bleeding or clotting problems, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist before using this product. Liquid forms of evening primrose oil may contain sugar and or alcohol, so if you have diabetes, alcohol dependence, or liver disease, be cautious and ask your doctor or pharmacist for advice on how to use this product safely. If you are planning to have surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. It's best to avoid using this product during pregnancy, so consult your doctor before using evening primrose oil if you are pregnant. While this product can pass into breast milk, it is unlikely to harm a nursing infant. However, it's still important to consult your doctor before using evening primrose oil while breastfeeding. When taking evening primrose oil, it's important to be aware of potential interactions with other medications and herbal products. Always keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with evening primrose oil are medications or herbal products that may increase your risk of bleeding, including blood thinners such as warfarin and heparin, antiplatelet drugs such as clopidogrel, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen. Aspirin may also increase the risk of bleeding when used with evening primrose oil. If your doctor has directed you to take low-dose aspirin for heart attack or stroke prevention, you should continue taking it unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. This product may also interfere with certain lab tests, so make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know you use evening primrose oil. It's important to consult your doctor for more information and to ensure that evening primrose oil is safe for you to use with any other medications or herbal products you may be taking. If you suspect an overdose with serious symptoms like passing out or trouble breathing, it's important to seek medical help immediately. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Make sure to schedule regular checkups with your healthcare provider and follow-up appointments for any necessary lab tests. This will help monitor your overall health and the effects of evening primrose oil on your body. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take the next dose at your usual time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Make sure to check the storage information on the package and if you have any questions, 
ask your pharmacist. Keep evening primrose oil and other medications away from children and pets. Do not dispose of the product by flushing it down the toilet or pouring it into a drain, instead, properly discard it when it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.